What's up everyone, KRT Ugeo here, back with some more F1 2021, and this time it's going to be a little different. I'm actually going to try to give you guys some advice on how to use the blue flags to your advantage. As you can see, I am in a close battle with Schumacher, trying to pass him on the inside of that turn, and it, it didn't work out for me. So now I'm stuck behind him yet again to go for another chance to pass him. Now, we are at Spain. It is in the rain, and it's, I'm not going to lie, it was, it was a pretty fun race. Um, I actually enjoyed it a lot, and I will be uploading the race, I guess, highlights, I want to say, because I, I do do 100% races, and I'm not going to upload a two-hour long video, especially when half of it is me 20 seconds behind next car or I should say one third of it was after my last pit stop um, but yes uh, we are currently behind Schumacher trying to find a spot to pass him and there isn't that many passing spots in Spain especially when it's raining uh, you pretty much have right here uh, at the end of this straight going into these turns um, that's one of my passing spots I felt comfortable with. You have right here, if you get a good enough line, you can actually accelerate pretty quickly up to them and set yourself up to pass around the outside on this turn, or maybe even the inside as well, depending on how they defend. Um, this isn't that great of a passing area, um, and up here is definitely not good passing area because it is a high speed left and right but after this straight right here so after this straight going up to this left hander that is also another good pop passing area so there's possibly three um maybe four passing areas on this track which is not a lot and if you're not even close enough to the guy in front of you it's not gonna happen. So being able to use the uh, blue flags to your advantage um, can help out, especially if they come when you need them to. And uh, not gonna lie, these guys probably came in one lap sooner, and it might have benefited me even more. Um, but it is what it is. As I catch back up to Schumacher after that straight, getting nice and close to his rear end, taking the alternate racing line around these turns to try to get that nice acceleration up to him going into this right-hander. And I'm thinking about going around the outside, but he just doesn't defend the inside. And uh, it kind of forces me to stay behind him at that point. Um, so at this point, I, I've pretty much act off and just started flag, to stay flag. close enough to him as I get that blue flag warning. Um, so now, I, now I'm thinking, all right, Schumacher's in front of me. I got these guys that are faster than me. I'm going to let them by um, when I can, when I feel like it's the optimal part to let them by. The car behind. Let them pass when you can. I have another blue flag, which is Prez, I believe, in Red Bull. So now my goal after the blue flags have passed me is to stay as close as possible to these guys as I can. And since it's raining, it benefits me. If this was the dry, they probably would have been gone. And it wouldn't have really set me up well enough uh, to use these uh, blue flags to my advantage. But since it is raining, um, it did help because it kind of equals out the cars. So in grip wise and, and, and turns so I'm staying behind him I'm not actually as close as I'd like to be at this point but I do gain a little bit in these turns because I'm running pretty much maxed out aerodynamics as Schumacher slows down to let Perez by and it's enough to let me by as well all I had to do nice move. was stay close enough to Perez stick to the racing line and when Schumacher pulls over, just try to keep that momentum and just pass him on the racing line. And that is how you use blue flags to 
to your advantage. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.